The views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the hosts and guests, and not necessarily those of the staff or management of Worldwide Digital Broadcasting Corporation. Can't beat that for an intro. I know. <laughs> Welcome to Sin City Bounty. Uh, we are all here with special guest Stephanie, who we're going to talk to extensively about lots of topics that Tox Toxie is interested in. Oh, Lord. We are also broadcasting uh, uh, live for you who are watching this beautiful, fancy video. We're also broadcasting live on uh, Facebook and uh, on our website, uh, sincitybounty.com. Um, you can see our Ustream feed there. We are at the fabulous studios of www.dbtv.com. <laughs> I don't know when that started. But. It started when we first, uh, it, it's been around forever. We've been using it with SinCityBounty.com since the bay, way back days when we were at Triple Wide Studios. Whenever I give a website out now, I have to stop at dot, or I have to stop at the end of the address so they can go dot com yes <laughs> it's like it's, i think it's from travelocity or expedia or one of those yes oh, yes yes, I think yes. yes. Thing, like a jingle. which dot com which hopefully <laughs> <laughs> which hopefully we'll be using extensively if we get the funding so we can go live and on the road uh, if you are interested in seeing us in your hometown uh, at your bbw event or just at the local fishing hole bar or where we will drink to kill it with you. Out of your place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll broadcast from your bathroom. Like, <laughs> you put enough money in that Patreon account, we are there. <laughs> uh, go visit us on Patreon. You can get there via our website or our social media posts and uh, support us. Uh, a buck, a buck a month is all we ask. But if you do five dollars a month, did she you say a fuck a month? A buck, buck. a month. <laughs> is all we ask for <laughs> there's even a three dollar a month tier which is pretty awesome but if you do five bucks a month what do you get toxie you get access to our super secret facebook page <laughs> where we post super secret stuff and share super secret things we are and just so you know just to warn you you might want to wait until next month to start because right now we are on a romp him kick <laughs> yes. i Yes. Love it. <laughs> Everyone in there <laughs> shares all of these rompers and they tag me, these man rompers, and they are amazing. My very favorite, was it Chuck Berry? Is that who is in the romp him that's in the... No, James no. Brown. James, James Brown. Brown. That's that right. one is the best. That's not a romp him, though. That's more like a jumpsuit. Yeah. It's yeah. close enough. It's it all like works. has these zip up just it past works. his belly button. You see a little bit of that set. It all, it all makes me feel a little tingled down below. So, <laughs> you get a tingle in your no-no. Sean idea. Connery is 007 in his yes, romp him. Yes. That was pretty hot. Yep. If you like Sean Connery, I'm not a big fan. Me but neither. Yeah. I'm down. I like the voice. I can't even do it. Like, hello and... <laughs> Hello, Toxie. Would you like to follow me into Hold the... Hold on. Me, 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 me. The name's Bond. James Bond. <laughs> yeah, he's got a bit of a shush on his ashes. So you've got to add a little shush onto the He has a little speech no. impediment. <laughs> you know? Hello, my oh, name is Bond. No. James Bond. No. No. We are not going there. No. <laughs> we have been back no. three no. minutes. <laughs> three fucking yep, minutes. You have to do that voice with the eye. No. Well, with the uh, Forrest Whitaker eye? No. Yeah, I gotta, I She's been here three minutes. <laughs> can we be inappropriately wrong after like the 15 minute mark? The Hell most. No. Can we? Why should we be any Give different this week? <laughs> so as you can see, I forgot to ask uh, Steph if she would wear her... Uh, raccoon outfit i know when yeah. she plays furry she dresses as a raccoon yeah i just have ears and a tail and i have like a little cute little apron-y like raccoon thing yeah i'm pretty cute 
<laughs> you, there, there are a few photos of you on your Facebook page mm-hmm. and uh, maybe on your Instagram. I didn't check through your Instagram, maybe, but I, I know, know that you're pretty prevalent on there as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that one is more open than your Facebook. No, so. they're both pretty open. Are they? Yeah. All right. I talk about it all on everything. You should probably make one of those, you know, fan pages or something because you have a lot of fans. You have three in this room alone. I have, mm, I mean, well, thanks. Head swells. <laughs> but <laughs> everyone likes a big head. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't? Right? No. I just ha- added everybody to my regular page. I'm like, now we're friends. Now we're friends forever. Forever. <laughs> Which I'm actually grateful for. One of the things that we do in our super secret Facebook group, if you pay five dollars a month on Patreon, is we are going to be adding our guests a week before they come on to the show, and she's going to stay for another extra week after the show. Um, and so you can ask her personal private questions, which we have done already. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like I know that her favorite nerddom, because it was one of the reasons why I love her, is she is such a nerd. Um, is X Men and Harry Potter? Yeah, Yay. I love it. I got an X Men tattoo right there. Yeah. Yep. I thought that was for a train. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. While I love trains, she, she is in not all nerd types, at all in all types of ways. She's trains. had a little nerd in her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Yep, that's X Men symbol. <laughs> <laughs> I have Harry Potter tattoos too. Yeah, I love my nerdiness. I like when you dress up when you cosplay. Yeah, I haven't done it in a while. I have some new wants, some new cosplay wants. I just like watching you float around in a giant unicorn butt. Oh my god, that unicorn floaty is the best. My very favorite picture of you is the one that I posted with our ad today. Is when you're surrounded by friends. It took me forever to blur out their faces because I didn't want them. But you're surrounded by friends and you're holding the 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 pool noodle lightsaber. The lightsaber, pool Mm -hmm. noodle lightsaber, right? And you're in your uh, tutu. Mm -hmm. And oh my god, that's my. I think that's like R two D two. Yeah, I was like R two D two, like drawn on the top and like blue tutu that was for one of the a fan aids walks um a couple years ago because it was on may 4th and we're like we have to do star wars theme i mean we have to right so it's law yeah it's may 4th what else you're gonna do (laughs) Mm -hmm. i I think that that is one of the very first photos i ever saw of you Uh and i think that was where i went i need to meet this girl And get yeah. to know her. And then the more I stalked your page, I was like, she is so right up my alley. Yeah. We could so, be sisters. We you, could and, be. you and I, it turns out, have mutual friends in common. Oh. Aside from these guys. <laughs> yeah. Aside from these bitches. Yeah. We have mutual mm. friends in common. <laughs> but I won't throw them out on the radio. Well, Steph yeah, does um, kind of know everybody in town. She does. Yeah, and if you're into but kink think... at all in this town and friends with anyone, you'll be like, oh, look at all these kinky motherfuckers. Oh, I, I know who that mutual friend is. <laughs> <laughs> I know her. It's probably me. I know a lot or of me. people. Or you. <laughs> um, yeah, I like, I like love people. That's probably my favorite thing ever is people. So I just end up getting into all these different things because I'm like, yes, I love that. Yes, I love that too. Yes, I love that. Let's do this. Now we're all friends. I make friends the same way I did when I was five. I'm talking to you, so we're (laughs) friends now. (laughs) You have to prove to me that we should not be friends. Otherwise, we're just going to be friends. (laughs) I literally still do that. (laughs) I kind of do that when I'm drinking. I tell everyone that they are my friend. (laughs) You or that she loves them. everyone I when do. you're drinking. I She's do. like, hey, I'm drunk. How about a lap dance? <laughs> Can I kiss you? That makes it sense. It happens. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Best time to make friends. Happened. But I do the same, except yeah. I'm, you're probably sober when you do Yeah, it. yeah, you're usually. Like, yeah, usually. Hey, everyone is my friend. Yeah, and you're just like, I'm a little tipsy. For me, the next day, I'm like, why do I have all these numbers in my phone? <laughs> like, I don't know who they are. Who are and there's photos people? of us together like, hey. We're homies. Like, I, no clue. The the best is getting her drunk at the Red Rooster. That's the best. Oh, man. She starts fights. Oh, boy. Just once. Have you been out to the Red Rooster? Not in a very long time. Yeah. Yeah. When did you start a fight? You didn't Uh, start a fight the last time we went. No, but it was a a couple times ago. You were there, too. We were outside. Yeah. No, I haven't been the Rooster. Was I drunk? Yes. And mine was tequila. Out of fairness, it was tequila. So let's go through all the things that you're into. So you are in the BDSM community. Yes. I'm not as much as I used to be, but yes. Okay. Yes. I keep up with it. I keep up with it. Um, You do, uh, you are are into a lot of nerd stuff. Yes. 
as much nerd stuff as possible. She got a big old. Are there card. any organizations or anything that you're involved with right now? Um, I know you were with uh, Vagina for a while. Yes, Vagina's still going and kicking, so I still support the hell out of them. Yeah. Um, they just had a Wonder Woman event at Millennium Fandom that was super rad. Let's explain what Vagina is yeah, so people I'd don't like freak out. Know. Yeah, so <laughs> Vagina stands for Very Awesome Girls into Nerdy Activities. It's a local organization here in Vegas, and it's also in Phoenix. And basically, the premise of the group, or the purpose of the group, is to empower women, to empower each other and the community to give back um, through geekdom. So we do lots of things based in nerdiness, but for different um, charities and different organizations in the city. Nerds doing good things. Mm -hmm. yep. With vagina. I'm into With vagina. With vagina. <laughs> I just love the name. Yes. I think it's awesome. I yes. don't know, like, how do you have to join a nerd group? Is there, do you take a quiz? Uh, I, I don't know what they're doing. Battle is showing up, Potter. I think, right? Yeah, I don't know what they're doing now. I'll have to find out. But if you go to the Very Awesome Girls LV fan page, right. you can always message them and be like, hey, I want to be in vagina, and they'll tell you what to do. I want to be in vagina. So <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. Johnny so Fever like, wants to be. It. Make sure your mic is on, Johnny Fever. Last someone... show, your mic wasn't on the whole. Yes, show. I know. I made sure it was on this time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what if you don't really qualify for the club, but you still want to be in the club? Hypothetically, you have to at least could have somebody... seen Star Wars? <laughs> like all of them? <laughs> Any one just of them. One. <clears throat> so what do you mean? Even don't if you qualify? just watch the trailer. No, she literally has no idea about anything. I think if you have a vagina, you qualify. Mm, no. <laughs> no, because that's too limiting. If you are a woman, you qualify. You don't, oh, very you don't good. necessarily Thank have to have a vagina. You're absolutely to, yeah. right. If you're a woman, Way you can go. be in the group. Okay. Um, and also, if you think about it, so we're all geeks. Um, but if you, I talked about this in my TED talk. I did a TEDx talk, by the way. What? You can look it up online. <laughs> it's we'll called a, Geekify Your Community. We'll mm -hmm. put a link to it up on our page. Um, the word geek, if you take that and flip it around and take it out, just put the word passionate in it. Geek. No. no. I was Take, like, it, up. Take it away. Keg Take it away. Man. Take it away. Replace the word geek with passionate. It means the same thing. Geeks are just people who are passionate about a certain subject. So I'm sure you're passionate about something. I like pop culture. Does that count? Uh, absolutely. I'm a Tacos. huge. My boyfriend Tacos. actually is like, you're a pop culture nerd. And I'm like, I don't think so. And then I'm like, yeah, I totally am. That's yeah, fine. I am. That's all so, I have. Yeah. yeah, that's total. That's good. Okay. I'm in. I'm They're getting in the vagina. It's not like uh, you're not nerdy enough to be in the group. That is a hundred percent against the premise of the okay. group. Yeah. So it's not like I'd have to come and fake it, and then they're gonna be like, "Can you show me the Spock hand thing?" No. Like, what, no. what was the last? What was the last thing Snape ever said? Uh, yeah. Do you um, know the Spock hand thing? It's I not elitist. Very good. Show to the camera. I, I, put your oh, I, yeah. 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 I just know I, it took me a while hands. to be able to yeah. separate those fingers. I can't even do that. I can do that. My fingers Last hurt when I try. Hold them. Yeah, it's weird. I'll, I'll put my to, finger in the was, middle of your V. Okay. It was more of a challenge, and then I had to figure it out <laughs> as knowing what it was for. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no elitist nonsense in the group. <laughs> you don't have to know a particular thing to be deemed a geek. That's bullshit. Also, world tiny rant that's bullshit you don't need to be an elitist to be a geek so cut that shit out. sorry it drives me there crazy. In. there are some geeks yeah. out there that consider themselves elitist mm -hmm, mm -hmm. an elitist geek and if you don't know anything yeah yeah mm -hmm. if you don't know like the middle name of han solo's second cousin's third brother right like they're like you're not a real star Wars yeah, fan, I'm, and i'm like i'm gonna take your card away it's paco my, my 11 year old <laughs> knows more about the canon history of the star wars universe than almost every one of your friends <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah no that's not about it like i will canon history. i will say i maybe don't like something because it's not true to the source material but I'm not going to be like, you guys suck for liking that. You're not real geeks. Like, that's dumb. But I will say, a lot of times when you are in different fandoms, that does happen to you. And then you're just like, oh, I'm being an asshole. Let me stop. So, um, you know, I've had my moments. But I'm better now. I'm pretty on point about it now. Um, May is a skank. My favorite name, by the way. I love <laughs> that's a great Hi, name. May. I love you, May. Speaking of cosplay, has anyone checked out the new bar, The Nerd? Half price drinks if you come in cosplay and free billiards and bowling. I'm so stoked to check it out and would love to know if anyone has been yet. I haven't been there yet, 
I am okay how do I phrase this I'm a little skeptical about it because I haven't heard anything positive yet from people that I know that have gone not to say that there's nothing good about it. I just haven't checked it out for myself. I will say that Millennium Fandom is an awesome bar. That is a great nerd bar in town. With and a you, name like Millennium Fandom, I mm -hmm, hope so. Mm -hmm. um, it's where the Lady Silva used to be for people who've been in Vegas for a very long time. It's right on like Las Vegas Boulevard and Fourth. Um, it's a great bar. That's where they just had the Wonder Woman event. Um, and. They have different thing nights. They have cosplay nights. They show m movies. They have a DJ. Like, it's really cool. It's small, but it's. I haven't been to the nerd yet, so I hope it's good. I haven't heard the best things yet, but it's still really new, so they probably have to find their footing and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, are those the only two places in town? Isn't the? I know that the. What's that bar downtown that looks like Harry Potter's? The Griffin. Oh, the, the Griffin. Griffin. The Griffin. But they yeah, don't... we always say that it looks like the no. Harry Potter common room. But, but it's that's a, not that's necessarily. A bar. Yeah. That's just a hipster it's, bar. That's what I'm saying. It's pants. not. It's not geared. It's not <laughs> yeah. for by nerds for right. nerds. But it doesn't mean a bunch of people can't dress up in their Hogwarts <laughs> right. clothes and go have like a group outing there because that would be dope. Be like a nerd crash party. Yeah. Like, they do in the back room. Puff, 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 puff. You walk in there and it's all like it's all these chill dudes in their beanies and stuff, and they're you know some are like paying and mm -hmm. paying their overpriced drinks. But you go in the back and it's like Swedish like rave music. <laughs> yeah, they have different nights so there and stuff. Kinda, like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you guys know, but there is a local Las Vegas science fiction association mm -hmm. group here in town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I follow them. Uh, I have not been to one of their events, although I get invited all the time, which is awesome because I get these invites. And I'm like, this sounds cool. Who are the fuck? Who the fuck are these people? And yeah. then I realize it's the group. And I'm like, one of these days I'm going to go to one of yeah. their events. <laughs> That's cool. I haven't been either. We'll make it to the Sci-Fi Center for a movie night. Like, I yeah. really need to do this. I, love I haven't been to the Sci-Fi Center in a long time. For personal reasons. I couldn't even find the sci-fi center <laughs> if you put it in my GPS. Wait, so. for personal reasons, it makes me think you were banging someone over there and it ended badly. Speaking no. Of, is this drama? Speaking yeah. of the sci-fi, uh, so there is a show that I have been watching. It's on Hulu. It's a Hulu exclusive show. It's called The Handmaid's Tale. Mm. I have not watched it yet. Okay. I haven't watched it yet because I know I'm going to feel some kind of way about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> so the book has been out uh, forever oh, and okay. it's about a dystopian future where uh, uh, the government, uh, people aren't having kids, so they take all the women who are of childbearing age and give them to the highest ranking people to have children with. The highest ranking couples to have children with. Okay? <laughs> In Ohio today, or yesterday, uh, they're trying to pass this uh, abortion law and the women who were protesting the passing of this law were all dressed as handmaids. Ooh. Ooh, nice. It was nice. crazy. Nice. I've heard that um, I have a very, very, very good friend on Facebook who lives in Southern California. And when she first started watching it, she said, I would have viewed this very differently on January 19th. Yeah. So from what I understand, like it's like I've never read the books. I've heard about them because it's like totally down my alley of shit I like. It's, you know post-apocalypse this is how we rebuilt the world yeah. what the fuck um <laughs> and but i so as i understand it it's like th this is such a mind fuck now because we could really see this happening yeah because of the way our political climate who, is who is in the political headshed right now yes uh, and she's absolutely right on the 19th it would have been Dude, this is some George Orwell shit, you know. 1984 bullshit. <laughs> and then 1984 happened. And Total, we were like, oh, shit. Total fiction. We're going to have to read. My, you know, my grandkids are going to have to read in their senior year and shit. But, yeah. <laughs> now oh, we're like, yeah. someone predicted the future. <laughs> um, speaking of Hulu, I think Hulu, side note, because we were talking about pop culture. Um I think Hulu is killing the game right now as far as shows and stuff. Netflix has been on point for a while, but Hulu is coming up. Because did it, any no. of you guys watch Harlots? No. no. Oh my god. I watched one episode. Did you watch Harlots? Yeah. Uh, just the first episode. Yeah. Uh, it yeah. get like the first episode's good and then it just gets amazing. Harlots is I mean it's about whores. 
I right. love them. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm really in. good. It's really good. Um, I. Oh, sorry. No, so like, if we're gonna watch talk about TV, like Sense Eight, one of the most inclusive shows on yeah, the fucking I'm planet, got fucking that. canceled, and I'm super mad. Everybody go sign the Netflix petition. Get back because yeah. Lito, Lito, I love you, Lito. <laughs> He's the it's, cute Hispanic gay guy, right? Yeah, yeah, and it's like the most amazing fucking love story ever that's mm. ever been told. Lito and Hernando. Lito and Hernando? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yep. Not Hernando. only that, but the super hot group sex scenes are amazing. Oh, we talk about TV a lot on this show. Yeah, TV's good. I like TV. I don't watch I it just, as much as I would like to, but I, I try. I'm partway through Orange is the New Black, and I just have to say that thus far this season, no spoilers, of course, but there is a lack of lesbian sex happening that I have come to... Require? Require <laughs> from my women like, prison shows. There needs more muff diving. More. <laughs> so I am on episode five, and I have not watched it in about two days. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, It's the, this season is a little lagging for me. It, and it's not for the lack of lesbian porn. It's I love Tasty storyline right now. Hers is my favorite. And the rest is just... It will pick well, up. Incidental, I think. I've had several already say best season yet. Really? So whether it is or not is you know remains to be seen. Yeah. But How can it be the best season yet if Pousse is... Well... Are you going to cry? You, you've cried like three times already. <laughs> She's a she's a focus of this season. Is she the focus yes, of this season? She's the focus okay. of this season. That's well, good. So I love you, Pussy. I haven't watched Orange New Black. I never got into it. It's super really? good. It's yeah. Good. I just was like, eh. if you're into women's prison stuff. Oh, yeah. Don't let her talk like to you know. into watching like three different women's <laughs> prison shows at one time though. <laughs> I like to know what I need to do should something ever happen. <laughs> like well, I, I mean, want to be prepared. Be that's good that's good research. She is totally a piper, by the way. Oh, we totally <laughs> she would totally <laughs> start the dirty panty trade inside, on the inside job. And I'd be her outside guy, so. Yeah. <laughs> so the, I mean, the chance of you going to prison might uh, actually become exponential by seven, since you have, I was listening to a news story this morning about the young man who was in prison for several years because his doppelganger committed a crime. Have you seen this story? Right. What? And yes. so he went on a search and he found this guy in another prison looks just like him, practically. Even the witness could not tell them apart. And that was the only thing that put him in jail in the first place. Right. And I think it was for like purse snatching. He was in jail for like seven or 11 years or something like that. Mm -hmm. Serving someone else's third strike. So according to, I think it was Nightline I was watching uh, early this morning on Hulu. Mm -hmm. uh, you should sponsor us. Um, <laughs> They say that you have seven different people around the world that look just like you. I have 832, seven, uh, 837 million. I, every place I go, every party I go to, every person I run into, every new job I start, they're like, didn't I go to school with you? Didn't we meet at so-and-so? Well, like, no, I just have basic white girl. Like 837 million? Yeah, it's That's a lot. Amazing. I was at Bible <laughs> Camp <laughs> once. And, um, it's like one eighth of the not, population. Bubble camp? At Bible Camp. Oh, Bible Camp. <laughs> and one of the girls told me that I was the twin to her cousin. Like the exact twin. And, you know, I'm like, that is super cool. That's so awesome. She's like, yeah, he looks just like you. He looks just like you. Like, aww. Plot twist. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> you can uh, there. There's a site. I, I I wish I would have written down the name, but there's a site that you can go to to yes. search for mm -hmm. your worldly twin. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. was my twin? I um, met mine in Hong Kong. You, you met your twin in Hong Kong. My, my was he Chinese? Was he Chinese? No, no, no. He was he was British, huh? and I was there on R and R, and he was there on R and R, and he was uh, uh, part of the British army there, mm -hmm. and. I walked into a bar, he was already there, and all of the women thought I was him. <laughs> and, and Did you get laid because of it? Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. Did you but, mention it but during, like... The thing is, you know, we, we met, had some drinks, and we concocted this story that, that we were twins, yes. and we were separated at birth because his mom was British, my dad was uh, An American, American and, ah. you know, I went with my dad, he and he went with my mom, dad. and... I mean, 
you know, we a had the, this was back in 1966, and we yeah. had this whole life. Oh, you man, stole it that from Haley Mills. Dope. You <laughs> totally yeah. took it from Haley Mills. Exactly. I ain't even mad yeah. at you. That's amazing. <laughs> so it was cool. People tell me I look like other people, but a couple of us like know each other, and we're like, different fat black girl. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. We're all nerds. We're all... It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I have one that they um, hear. <laughs> no, I would... <laughs> Here in Vegas, and they'll they'll tell me like you guys look alike and you t sound alike, like the way that we talk. Um, but she's like ten years younger than me, mm. so I'm like, I'll take it. Yeah, you're like I'm down. <laughs> Sorry for her. <laughs> but <laughs> if for if you were to find a twin here in Vegas and you got along, would you? Plan some Try to have sex with them, yes. I would do the parent <laughs> trap thing, and then we would get into threesomes and make men's fantasies come to fucking life. <laughs> I would but just like, be like, me and my what? twin want to have sex <laughs> Would you at least charge yes. for that? Would I charge for that? Why? Well, I, I mean, wouldn't. I could. I haven't but... charged it all this whole time. I'm not going to start. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's going to be like, we got that shit for free back in 2007. <laughs> I can't charge. We, See, can, yeah. we can try it. We can be like, yeah. hey, we're twins. We were switched at birth, except we're, she got wear the, the same clothes and do your she hair got the same. Yes. <laughs> Most people don't pay attention that closely. Yeah. Now, what, what, we could totally actually almost pass off as a single individual because I've got the boobs and she's got the ass. And right. so together we make a whole mm. beautiful, voluptuous person. Like together <laughs> we're ba bam. Like the bam. <laughs> she's butt and I'm bam. Mm. Ba bam. <laughs> And that's how we sell it. Right there. <laughs> Amazing. We're going to use that next time we go to the rooster. I need to go to the rooster. I haven't been in a while. We'll I went, make sure we, we invite went, you next time. We, we go. went to, me and my boo went to the studios. How is that? Oh, that's where I want to go. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It, it's you know also that, transgender. Right? You know that, on the website, it just says it's like a gay social club. And I'm like, that would be fun. But You know that dick house on Pecos? How long have you guys been in Vegas? So I've been in Vegas since the BBW club was run by Chris Andrews up on Jones. I need a date. You need a date? <laughs> like, like a year. I don't know. I've been here since my mama's brother had moved. No, I need a date. I've been here since 1989. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there's a house on Pecos. I thought you were shaped... asking for sexual references. No, it was no, no, no. <laughs> There's a house that's shaped like a dick on Pecos near Trop. If you look at it from the satellite view, okay. it's long and has two circular ends. And we're like, we call it the dick house since dick I've been house. here since like middle school. So that's where the studios is. Oh, no, that, I know in the studio. dick house? Yeah. Yeah. That house, if you look at it from satellite, it looks, it's shaped like a dick. I, dri I drive by it every day on yeah, the yeah, way yeah, home yeah, from yeah, work. Yeah. We call it. Do you drive been... back and forth, back and forth? <laughs> or just in the front? <laughs> you know, just in the front. Just this, like, All little bit, around. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Um, skimming the sides <laughs> so it's really nice it's it's gigantic it is so big there is like that's what she said <laughs> hey -o. no that's hey what he yo. said <laughs> so um they have like a bdsm dungeon area they have like orgy room they have like private rooms private rooms are cool so you can close the door if you just want to get your freak on privately you can have the door open, but a chain. Dude, they stole that from the power exchange. It's from the same people who did the power exchange. Is it from the I same see a uh, Sin City yes. Valley field trip. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Coming up soon. Um, My nipples got hard. She so, said BDSM dungeon. I was like, whoop. <laughs> yes. Um, so you can have the door open with a chain so nobody can go past the chain, but they it can still is watch. the power exchange. Yeah, it's from the same people. And which, then, or you can have the chain down. Which is where. <laughs> Don't you pull that tongue out? It's been a while. <laughs> How much? Um, <laughs> anyway, isn't that where you got your ass smacked and everyone couldn't believe like how bad? Yes. Okay. That was people actually had to leave the room because they were like, this is too much. And then later they're like, your butt isn't even pink. And I'm like, nope, leather bottom. Sorry. Nice. Yeah, when we went, Which someone defeats had... the purpose of getting your ass spanked for the guy, right? Mm, well, maybe for some guys. Or for half of it, anyway. Mm. I mean, there is the thrill of actually spanking your ass, and then there's the thrill of seeing their work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Some guys are more just about the action, mm -hmm. yeah. a little less about the afterglow. I mean, my ass was warm. Like, yeah, that's, that's not, always nice. The warm. Yeah, you can, like touch it like that's hot. Not just because. I mean, I let's be let's be honest. I have no ass. It's the only time my ass is hot is after it's been. Spanked. 
smacked like that. <laughs> but um, yeah, for for my partner, it's all about impact play, the actual play. Yeah. It's really, I think you guys will like the studios. It's really, me and my boo went like one day to check it out because he's never been to like a sex club. And then we went the next day too. <laughs> was like, I'm like, let's just see what the like crowd is like on this day. Like, let's just see it. So the only reason that we did a field trip to the power exchange when it was in up uh, before mm -hmm. the first was, reason. That's right. Went. The first reason. That's right. The first reason was because a friend of ours, we thought she needed a rescue. Lo and behold, she gave us the tour. And they knew <laughs> no, she didn't just give us a tour. This bitch knew the staff by first name basis. <laughs> they were like, oh my God, girl, are these your friends? And we're like, I thought you said you needed some help. <laughs> yeah, we came to help. Bitch, but you it don't was, need our it help. Was, it was a blast. Yes. And we had, we had gone back several times since. So I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a room that was decorated with like comic book stuff on yes. the wall. Yes. Uh, that was a bunch of stuff from my apartment that nice. I had. I never actually went to Power Exchange, but I knew someone who helped like decorated and stuff so i was there before it actually opened mm -hmm. so all those comic book posters and a bunch of stuff i was like here i got too much shit take this there so that's how is. i was in the power exchange the whole there time is. do you know how many people enjoyed their evenings to your stuff yes i know at least one one of mine so <laughs> let's me ask your questions about being a furry so <laughs> oh well boy i'm gonna sit back <laughs> You just chill. <laughs> What's I'm up? Like, my bunny no, I just tails want to talk about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, I'm a fairy. I'm a raccoon for a little while. Not like super crazy forever long. For a couple years now. Um, I have friends who are, who have been furry since they were, they don't even remember how old. Furry is different from cosplay, correct? Yes. Like some fur, furry is like a type of fandom furry is people who appreciate you know anthropomorphic characters anthropomorphic art and this is just me speaking i'm not speaking for the whole fandom anyone who wants to chastise me later um but yeah oh, oh no going. okay so furry um is like a it's like a fandom of sort of like people who like Doctor Who, but it's, you know, art and animals and things like that. So people take on a character. Um, they're like, oh, I'm a fox or I'm a wolf. This is my name. Uh, this is my characteristics. This is what I look like. Um, and then some people get the full on fursuits that are amazing, but so expensive. <laughs> but they're amazing. One day I hope to have one, but I don't go to a lot of conventions. So it kind of like I would just wear it around town. Um, they're really hot. <laughs> they're like mascot suits, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the basis of the furry fandom. Yes, there is sex. There is sex in everything. I don't want people to think, oh, if you're a furry, you have sex. If you're a person, you probably have sex. <laughs> like, or you don't. Not all furries have sex in their costumes. Sometimes people are just furries because they like the art, they like the animals, they like the character. Do, a lot of times- Do do you have sex in your costume? Um, I haven't, but I've had sex with people in their costumes. I also really like furry porn. <laughs> furry porn's real nice. Wait Shout out to Jay Naylor. <laughs> yes, Jay Naylor is amazing. Ugh, I've gotten many, many orgasms to lots of his stuff. Right. You know what I'll be doing tonight? <laughs> Is that J period or J A Y? J A Y. Can you spell N A Y L O R? J Naylor has some of the best, and if, naughtiest, <laughs> delicious. And you can find all over Tumblr. Yeah. Thank There's one. God, Tumblr porn. Uh, I can't think of her name, but when you look through his stuff, uh, I don't know if it's a hyena. It's a, basically a character who has a breeding fetish. Mm -hmm. That is a my. Bre wait, a breeding yeah, yeah. Like, yes. fetish. Like yes. getting pre impregnated. And getting impregnated. So. Um, it's a huge thing. Wow. Oh, Here's that's, well, that's, I know there's pregnancy fetish. Yeah, no, well, impregnation. Fe that's my jam, like, uh, on air for everybody to know, like, breeding. That's fantasies. my shit. Like, yeah. Do, do, you, do you read any of the hentai manga with the. Sometimes, sometimes I just get a little, I'm like, come on, that's, that's not realistic. <laughs> but I, what I've been finding lately is. two Tumblr, hyenas fucking is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what I've been finding lately is impregnation porn that has another shot of the penis going in and out 
from the internal view. I love that. <laughs> and like, so you see it like from the cervix's view, and then you see him like when he comes and they link it up to like the porn video. So like when he comes in the porn video, that's when the little like other video shows him, come, man. So I saw that, that in high shit. school sex education. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was amazing. That shit's amazing. It's super hot. I'm just like, thank you, Tumblr, for all these fucking orgasms. <laughs> so, uh, a friend, I, I told a friend of mine that I really liked uh, porn cartoons, the funny mm -hmm. ones, mm -hmm. you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. the hilarious ones. And he goes, Oh, I've got some porn for you. And he lent me some hente manga whatever. Tentacle porn? And yeah. so it opens up on these two little young 13 probably years old girls with ears and a tail and then they started to have sex and I, w I just I shut it off. <laughs> You're like, like, oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> oh man. Um, there is a That's collection. Um, the Bondage Fairies. Have you read Bondage Fairies? Oh, oh man, no. it's like old school, like probably from the '90s. I don't think any earlier, they, but probably early '90s. Is it like Sweet Valley High? No, no, no. <laughs> they are fairies, and is they it like have Gulliver's Travels. Like you get tied down, like Gulliver. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're actual fairies, and they like fuck things, and sometimes they're like like creatures in the. So there's like ones with like insects. There's one with like. You got my phone. I need someone to take notes. <laughs> there's like one with like different animals and stuff, and like yeah, it's. It's bondage, it's fairies. bondage fairies. Just write bondage yeah. fairies. We're Googling that shit yeah. when we get I have a air. collection. I'll take a picture later and post it on your page. I have like yes. the collection. Oh, in the group, in the group, uh, yeah, in the group. In the, group. I have the a super collection. secret Facebook group that you can get into for $5 a month, a month on Patreon. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, yeah, I love bondage fairies. Like, they are my jam. I love that. that was are they like the tooth fairy? Like, do they leave lips <laughs> for you at night? <laughs> <laughs> like, if you were a bad, bad girl. I mean, if I believe you wake in the up tooth with a, fairy. Like, handcuffs under your pillow? No. No, and they're not you know out what? for teeth. They're out for fucking dick. Fucking. <laughs> they're out for sex. Fucking fucking. Also, I also have, I also have this mag, this comic, this two volumes about a witch who needs come for all of her spells. <laughs> I will also post that in the group. Someone wrote a book about me. <laughs> and so she always is just like fucking people. She's like a cum witch. To get like cum. Especially against like the bad guys. She like gets their cum and then she like does spells against them. I say we have a sleepover at Death House. <laughs> We're going to have like a comic book party sleepover yeah. at Death House. Like, oh my God, this was Did awesome. anyone ever see the movie Four Rooms mm -mm. with Tim Roth? No. No. Nope. Did you, you ever watch see the, the okay. did you ever see the video yes. two cups and a <laughs> no, <it's> two <laughs> girls, one girls, cup? One no, 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 no. Gross. Find four rooms, four rooms and okay. watch it. Okay. Are there bondage fairies? No, but there are cum witches. No. Nice. Okay. How did you not know it, it, It's about thing. this guy in a and hotel well, well, them, by the on New Year's Eve, <laughs> and there's four different rooms, so there's four different stories. Mm -hmm. And one of the stories is about this coven. And they need uh, come for this particular spell, and this young girl has to go get it from this guy. Mm. And she comes back to the room and is not able to talk. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <Mouth full of> <laughs> she spit it so in yes, I'm, I'm all about that. I won't help you out with that part. <laughs> but I'll I, greet people as they come in the door for you guys. <laughs> the <laughs> problem is, is that like, I have an auto swallow <laughs> reflex, so they're like, oh, and I'm like. Well, ah, oh, pasted it again. I don't swallow that shit at all. Mm, you could be a fluffer. Yeah, I'd put it in cereal. I'd be really good at like, let me take your coat. Do you want a drink? Don't make me call my safe word on you. <laughs> So you can't watch me do blowjobs, and you can't watch me eat I can breakfast. watch you do blowjobs, but when I know he's coming, I'm going to If you're swallowing it and I'm not seeing it, that's fine. But I, you see, do you know the difference between love, true love, and showing off? God. I'm about to learn. Spitting, swallowing, and gargling. <laughs> and I am a true love motherfucker. Yeah. Gargle, gargle. <laughs> Wish no, come down my throat. Thank you very much. I don't even like like You're things like, of that consistency. So no, I'm definitely not doing, I'm not doing. So it. no oysters for you. I can do oysters. They're slimy. But no, oysters but are like eating pussy. <laughs> oh, like actually ingesting fine. a vagina. 
Oysters are fine. But yeah, no. No Slippery. Cum. <laughs> Steph, we should have you back every week. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. What's going on in the world you oh, want to talk about? Really quick, yes. um, you do the bathtub. Yes, I see a lot of people have oh, signed yes, in yes, to yes. watch this who are usually at my bathtub thing. So that's pretty awesome. Right. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. So I'm very excited because I have asked many times to, I've tried to invite myself into your tub many times. Yes, I need a bigger tub again. Most, that's the problem. Most people follow a restraining order when I get really persistent about being in their tub as no. often as I have. No. But I thought I'd try one more time and maybe hope you don't report me. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not going to report you. I just, I don't fit in my bathtub right now. That's part of the reason why I haven't been doing them is because I'm just like, I don't want to be in this fucking bathtub. Plus, the light in the bathroom right. has the fan attached to it, and that shit drives me crazy. So it's, I know it's going to drive me nuts through a whole video. But I'll probably do one. I'll probably do one next week in California because I'll be in California in, like, a nice spa tub. Oh, How nice. How big is the tub in Baby Daddy's room? I will also go to are, other tubs. Why don't we do hot tubs uh, stuff? We can do hot tubs. Where? Who? Which of you have a hot tub? That that you? But you have to like wear stuff in your hot tub. You don't wear stuff in her bathtub. Well, we can. We I have done. I did one a year ago. That we were a bunch of us were in a hot tub with okay, bathing so suits on. Okay, so we can on. do it in a hot tub. Mm -hmm, hot mm -hmm. tubs with stuff. Yeah, hot, hot tub and with stuff. It's still sex there stories with stuff. That's we'll it. Just, there you, know, you go. In a hot tub. In a hot tub. And well, and I'll we, go to other tubs too. If we too. do it at night, and we turn the bubbles on, no one will know if we take our suits off under the water. That's true. I ain't getting arrested for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am. I am. I already know what to do in prison. That's right. You I'll shut that video down. You shut it down. I will do it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I watch it. <laughs> right there. Oh, so she's right. Oh, man. But yeah, no, I need to do a sex story soon. I haven't done one in a while. And I love doing them. And I'm having a lot of sex. But... Can you talk about this? With one person. That's right. Know, you that's are a polyamory. <laughs> I'm, yeah, person. I'm a polyamorous Normal. person, normally. But now I am being in a monogamous relationship. Yeah, uh, monogamous. Chosen, chosen to be monogamous? Yeah. So no longer polyamorous? Not, not currently. It'll, it Look, might change. When you're a bi girl dating a woman, it doesn't mean you don't like dudes. It just <laughs> yeah, means you're just, just dating like, a woman. No, right no, no. Now. I'm talking about actually having more than one relationship. Right. In the pro she is currently monogamous mm -hmm. and I guess uh, talked about being monogamous, but it may change in the future. Yeah, yeah, it's always a possibility. It is so when I met my boo, he was on I I was dating someone at the time. Um, and he was on board with me being Polly. So it was me who was like, uh, I think I wanna do the mono thing for a little bit. It's fucking weird, but I love it. But who knows if it's going to be like this forever. It might be. Or it might not be. So I still identify as polyamorous. Um, I'm just, you know, in a monogamous relationship right now. Having all the sex. Mm. <laughs> At least one of us is. Mm, all the sex. He works a 12-hour shift from like 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. So on those days we either don't have sex or I'm waking up at like five and we're fucking and I'm going back to sleep. Every time I see a picture of the two of you together, I'm going to think about the two of you having sex. Oh From man. Now on. Yes. <laughs> yes. And it's glorious. He is tall. Is he a hair pulling ass smacking kind of guy? He's getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there. He lets me call him daddy. Woo. <laughs> He's, yeah, no, I was commenting on them. Like you've been spanking my ass a lot lately. He's like, Yup. I'm like, keep that shit up, boo. <laughs> That'll get you a blowjob. Nice. Oh, I'll get that anyway. <laughs> but yeah, when we're both off together, we have sex. We kind of, <laughs> he knows I'm going to talk about this. We like, ha we call them breeding days. Let me, let me where check. basically, oh, yeah, we about <laughs> he is just like fucking me continuously as if we're trying to get me pregnant. Oh, God, so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the grin. I'm turned on. Oh, Look at the so grin. Turned on. <laughs> this is great. So has he ever? Uh, the reason that you're monogamous is because it's his. He's never delved into the polyamory at all, or nope. The um, it's hard to explain. I basically date um, 
people who are awesome, obviously, and who I'm compatible with and who we can satisfy each other, not just sexually, but like provide, you know, fulfill their needs and their wants and desires. So as of right now, he's fulfilling me in a, to a point where I'm not actively seeking another partner. Not that I have to be like, oh, you're not doing this for me, so I need to get someone to do this for me. And people who do that, I'm not saying is wrong either. It's just, I'm good with him. Like, he's satisfying me in a bunch of ways, so I don't feel the need to date anyone else. So he fulfills your nerddom needs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's he a huge board gamer. He fulfills your sexual needs, for sure. You've mm -hmm. mentioned several times Large now. <laughs> he fulfills your spiritual needs. Um, so that's interesting. He's an atheist, um, and I am not. <laughs> So, but he's real. Oh, I have to tell you an adorable story. So, I have an altar on my, uh, like, when you walk into my door, there's an altar on my counter. And uh, my friend gifted me this awesome raccoon cookie jar. I'm obsessed with raccoon. Like, it's an amazing jar. So, it's on the counter, but I'm cleaning off the counter because I'm like, there's too much shit by my altar. I need to move it. And he's like, I don't know anything about your religion, but can you, like, use this cookie jar on your altar for, like, a totem or something? I'm like, you're so fucking cute. No, no, I want to put cookies in that. Because <laughs> if it goes in the altar and the cookies go in the jar, they're not mine anymore. They're not mine. They belong to someone else. So he's just, he's super, like, he may be an atheist. He may be really logical and I'm super emotional, you know, I identify as an empath and all that. But he's so fucking supportive. Like, it's weird that he's not into the same things I am because he's just like, Whatever you need to do. Like, whatever as, you as do. pagan as I am, I'm borderline atheist. Yeah, yeah. So I yeah. can see where the attraction can come from. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely, he's just like, I am super logical, but I understand, like, emotional people. And um, he even said to me the other day, because I keep watching videos before he goes to work that makes him cry. And he's like, I don't know what it is. Ever since we've been dating, like, I've just been feeling more emotions and just more things. And I'm like good my job is done here <laughs> like feel it all. yes feel that shit um so he he's he's just like honestly he's just amazing he's probably one of the most amazing people i've ever like dated like didn't you guys just take a trip um yes we did yes yes we went to lightning in a bottle so that was his first festival um and Isn't it was it a like a super lefty political festival um no 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 um it is like uh it's a mix between like burning man type stuff and like it has stages like edc or coachella or something of that nature yeah, you're a big so EDC fan, sure, yeah i'm not going this year but yeah um so i'm going to burning man uh, uh no i haven't been to, i've only been to burning man once um just not yet the girl is too busy for all that shit. <laughs> i'm trying to go to all the festivals so we have a festival at the end of this month and then we have one next month and i'm just like we're going to all the things i hope you're ready because he's also kind of shy and introverted but not like when you meet him you wouldn't think not that because he's just like yeah but he's like a chameleon like if he was a furry i would say that he was a chameleon because he just like adapts with everyone he's just like yeah oh and uh, you do hooping <laughs> yep i haven't in a little bit but yeah do you hooping and Shit, what's this the, hour went by fast has it been an hour that you do with the flow wand yeah, yes. where it's like fake it's like magic a, stuff. Yeah. Something. It's pretty dope. Yeah, it's like a wand on a string, and it's amazing. I do all this stuff. But it's like a long stick. There's videos on my Instagram. Steph Hoops L L L V. Steph Hoops L V. Yep. Yeah, that's it. S-T-E-P-H? Mm-hmm. Yes, right. the one true Steph. What we got next? <laughs> we, we got uh, five minutes. That's what we, we got. We got five minutes, so really quick. Um, we talked last week about The Bachelorette. You yes. started watching this season. I did not. There's no. I didn't see an episode. It did not pop up in my feed, my Hulu feed of need to watch. Well, there might be. There might be a new one. I didn't check okay. last night. However, what comes after The Bachelorette over the summer is Bachelor in Paradise. Basically, what that is is castoffs from different seasons. Um, go and they go, you know, to this nice place. In this case, it's in Mexico, and they just ply them with a lot of alcohol, and, and then see shenanigans what happens, happens mm. and it makes for great ratings. There's no flower ceremonies or anything like uh, that. You know, basically a bunch of people fucking, it's, right? Yeah, it's kind of like the real world, mm -hmm. really. <laughs> I love real world. Oh, real world um, however, best. they just shut down production. Yeah, Might I was be canceling that earlier. the show. Mm -hmm. 
Um, two of the, so one of the gentlemen, DeMarco, who was just kicked off of Rachel's season. For having the, a girlfriend. For having a girlfriend. And then Corinne, who was my daughter's favorite from the last season. Um, and she went off about four or five in the lineup. Um, they apparently were in the pool. And thus far, what I've read is that she was too, they, they fooled around and it got a little heavy, but she was too drunk to consent. Mm. And producers didn't stop it. Oh. And they're supposed to stop it yeah. if it goes too far and they're too inebriated to consent. Mm. So, or else it's allowing. Or else it's allowing. Mm. And so somebody yeah. on set filed a complaint. Yeah. So they're doing an Good. investigation right now. Um, you know, trying to figure out what happened. They sent everybody home uh, until they, you know, do a thorough investigation. But, uh, yeah, obvi you always wonder with the shows, like when something happens, mm -hmm. do they go too far? They're super drunk. What happens? What's supposed to happen is there's enough people there to keep them I safe. Like everyone's watching. Right. 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 It's like there's like at least two dudes right. standing there, probably three, maybe four if they have the production assistant there. Mm -hmm. Somebody could have said, yo, dude, she's fucking wasted. Stop. Right, right, yeah. right. And I know that there was an issue of that in one of the seasons. It made me think of the real world. But there was an issue with that in one of the seasons mm -hmm. where they felt um, one of the contestants. You know, so so in most cases, they've put a, a pretty, you know, meter on that to determine, hey, when do we cut this off? Yeah. But in this case, they didn't. So... It's in limbo right now. There, there are some that would argue that uh, the show is based in reality. So in re if it's just a dude in a camera, and if that's the case, then, it, you know, let him, let the whoever raped the girl or the girl who raped the guy suffer the consequences. If it's based on reality and there's a third person there and they don't stop a rape, they are just as culpable as the person right. who performed it. And the, and the show is plying them with the alcohol. So it, it's also the same if you're it's in a like bar liability. Mm -hmm. and you go in and you guzzle down alcohol, you drive away and kill somebody. Um, the bar's liable. Yeah, the bar's liable. I took the alcohol class to get my alcohol card. It wasn't what I thought it was. They didn't even give me one drink. <laughs> they, they didn't teach me to make shit in that class. But they did teach me that, you know, how to read IDs and that bottom line, you're liable if you overserve and they mm -hmm. go and, you That's know, why somebody. bartenders will cut people off. Yeah. like, nope, They no have more. to. They have to because mm -hmm. it'll come back on them. So, um, and I learned that actually I was supposed to work at EDC for, mm -hmm. uh, um, my daughter's soccer thing. Gotcha. Um, One minute. But that's why I had to learn that. And so in that same case, they made all of this alcohol available to them, readily available, and then allowed this to happen. That's good. I'm so glad it got shut down. She has, Corinne has lawyered up, and um, it'll, it'll be very interesting. But uh, the show is on hold and possibly canceled. So... Well, good. I don't watch any of that shit. Mm. <laughs> I just started because uh, Rachel... Uh, for The Bachelorette has been on the news. So, and I started watching it. I have not watched a new episode yet because it didn't pop up in my Hulu, but I'm going to check when I get home. Mm -hmm. So, there you go. We have had a fabulous time with you, Yay! Steph. And you know you are welcome I'll back come back anytime. whenever. Let me know. Um, uh, don't forget, we are uh, all over the place. You can find us on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram. I think we even have a Pinterest. I, I'm like, I never go there. <laughs> we have a Pinterest. <laughs> I've pinned like three uh, things. We have a YouTube channel where you can see all the fancy videos mm -hmm. and then uh, some of the videos from the remote uh, the remotes that we do, which I think we have a few coming up, right? A few remote uh projects coming up where we're going to be at parties and, and things that, like that, and that you? Um, yes <laughs> <laughs> um uh find us follow us support us thank you very much my name is alexia i'm steph i'm sierra taxi and we will be back next week if you're brave enough <laughs> later bitches bye, bye.